If police in Kalamazoo County are building a case against Heather Kelly's boyfriend in her disappearance, they'll need to act quickly. He's locked up, but court records show he's set to be released soon. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is breaking new developments in the search for the missing mother of eight. Federal court records show that Heather Kelly's 37-year-old boyfriend, identified in search warrants connected to her disappearance, is locked up at the Nuevo County Jail, but he is set to be released in late April. Target 8 is not identifying the boyfriend because he has not been charged in this case. Court documents show he was wearing a tether and had been finishing up a federal sentence at the KPEP halfway house on Chicago Avenue for a 2010 cocaine conspiracy that included a murder for hire plot. The halfway house is two miles from where Kelly's burned car was found. The car had blood and human hair in it. DNA test showed the blood was Kelly's. On December 11th, hours after the car was discovered, the boyfriend went AWOL from KPEP and ditched his tether. He was arrested three days later. In a letter the boyfriend recently wrote to his federal judge, he gave another reason for going AWOL. He claimed that one of Kelly's brothers had texted him death threats, quote, even sending pictures of an AR-15 assault rifle. Kelly's brother in a phone conversation with Target 8 denied threatening the boyfriend. Detectives obtained eight search warrants for the boyfriend's phone, email, and Facebook records. They show that the boyfriend lied to detectives investigating Kelly's disappearance. He claimed he had last seen her when she dropped him off at KPEP mid-afternoon on December 10th, the day before she was reported missing. But phone records and GPS from his tether show they were together at the Park Club, a private dinner club in downtown Kalamazoo later that night. He worked there as a busboy. Records show his phone was turned off after that, but that it was later tracked to the area of East Michigan Sprinkle, near where her car was found. They also show that his tether went dead. Detectives say the fact that his phone was turned off shows signs of premeditation and, quote, supports the theory that Heather Kelly has been the victim of a violent crime. Detectives were searching for a second person of interest they say may have helped destroy evidence. In Kalamazoo, I'm Target 8 investigator Ken Colker.